If you went out and bought yourself a new Samsung 4K or 8K television and you look at the back, chances are it only has a fiber optic output to go over to your audio system or an HDMI arc. But let's say you want to use RCA jacks. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a digital to analog converter that allow you to use those analog jacks on your equipment. I'm Tech Steve. Sit back, relax, and let's get started. Here we have a digital to analog converter and its main job is to convert digital light over to analog so you can hook it up to powered speakers or you can connect it to older audio equipment. The reason I picked this one up to show you guys is that it comes with a remote control and it has headphone output so you can hook up your wired headphones with no problems. And the reason I would mention that it does come with a remote control is because whenever you use fiber optics, you're not gonna be able to control the volume anymore with the TV remote. You'll have to use this remote right here or you can go to the front of it and manually press the buttons. To set up this digital to analog converter is very easy. All you need to do is plug in some RCA cables on the back of your audio receiver or powered bookshelf speakers. Then you will plug the other side into the digital to analog converter. The next step is to plug in the fiber optic in the back of your Samsung television. And then the other side goes into your digital to analog converter. And the last step is to plug in the power supply that comes with the unit. Now I have everything all set up, let's check the volume. All right, looks like everything's working on the TV, but how about the digital to analog converter? The volume is working on it too. The interesting thing about the Samsung is that I didn't have to put it in PCM mode and that's what this adapter requires. So just in case you had to do it, you wanna hit the home on remote control, go over to the side where it says settings, and then you can scroll over to where it says TV speakers and switch it over to optical. And just in case you still don't get sound, you wanna go into your main settings right here Go down to sound. You can see it's already selected on optical. We're gonna go down to expert settings. And then you wanna go down here where it says digital output audio format. And just simply turn it over to PCM and then it should start working right away. Another feature I wanna show you guys is that this digital analog converter has a bass boost. So I put together a little demo for you guys. Check it out. So what do you guys think about that bass boost and the fact that this is only $26, if you're in this situation, it's gonna really work well for you. Now let me go over a few stats for you nerds out there. Well, first of all, it only works off PCM audio. So if you're not getting audio, make sure you go switch it over. And again, this works on other devices outside of Samsung. It has a frequency response of 20 Hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. So that's a full range of sound and it will support 16 to 24 bit audio, which is really good to get you the best sound quality possible. And just in case you decide this is something you need, just keep in mind that it comes with the fiber optic cable an instruction book, the power supply and the main unit, but it does not come with RCA cables. So if you need to hook those up, make sure you either have a set or order them separately. The last thing I'll let you guys know that this is a part two. So I did film a video on LG televisions and if you have one and you wanna know how to get through the menus, make sure at the end of this video, you go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm Tech Steve, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.